Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a very small earthquake there in the California, San Francisco Bay Area, a magnitude 2.8. USGS says it was near Seven Trees, California. Using Google Earth, here we have Los Gatos, we got Campbell, we have Morgan Hill down to the uh, south, uh, San Jose, Sunnyvale, and the uh, red line here is the Calaveras fault line. Over on the west is the uh, San Andreas fault line. So I was looking around at different buildings, location of this earthquake, and I noticed New Almaden. It's an area where back in the early 1800s was mercury mining. Predating the major California gold rush of 1849, the mines of New Almaden produced $700,000 in quicksilver mercury. Prior to that, the Native Americans used to use the rock called cinnabar and paint their skin red with it. Last year, in 2020, there was a contamination of mercury advisory issued for the South Bay waterways. Mining may not be ongoing in this area, but because of the rock formation, the contamination is still ongoing. I lived there for many years and did not even know about this. Fish collected in 2019 was found to be heavily contaminated with mercury. And then a year later, they released a report about the health advisory that no fish should be consumed, collected from the Almo Almos Creek, Almendin Lake, Almendin Reserve, etc. The new Almendin Mining District, located in, in the Guadalupe River watershed, was North America's largest producing mercury mine. Water from these creeks feed the Guadalupe River, which flows through San Jose to the San Francisco Bay Area. More about this, cinnabar. As a mineral ore of mercury, cinnabar is a hazardous material and should be treated as a toxic substance. It is not a mineral to be handled or used with students. It should be stored and labeled that warns unknowing people who might encounter it in your specimen cabinet display cases or storage locations so more than likely it's probably rock that you can pick up right up off the ground it is the only important ore of mercury it has a bright red color that causes people to use it as a pigment and carve it into jewelry and ornaments for thousands of years i think about the uh, cave drawings with the red paint wow because it is toxic, its pigment and jewelry use have almost been discontinued, almost. Mercury contamination would increase during times of rain and flooding. Here it says on uh, Google search that the inhalation of mercury vapors can cause neurological and behavioral disorders, such as tremors, emotional instability, insomnia, memory loss, neuromuscular changes, and headaches. They can also harm the kidneys and thyroids, and high exposures can also lead, lead to death. Uh, fish do not flush out mercury, as a person could do, by drinking lots of water and eating uh, foods with um, high fibers. Eating more fiber, your body naturally gets rid of mercury and other potential toxics, a substance through your feces drinking more water and definitely avoiding the exposure yeah so i was shocked to hear about this mercury contamination there in the bay area and like i said it was done they found out about it by the testing of the fish in 2019 and then released the information a year later all because i was looking into this small 2.8 earthquake something that should be on the news something that people should be aware of and they're not being told so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for watching thank you for subscribing please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye